this question we want to withdraw 25,000 each year for 15 years and the account earns 5% interest. So we can right away write down a bunch of these values, 5% is 0 0.05. Now the compounding period is K, meaning how many times per year? Well, this is each year. Each year happens one time per year. So for us, K is one. It's typically gonna be monthly, which is 12, but here we have a yearly, which is one for 15 years, so that's n equals 15. All right, periodic withdrawals right here. So we're automatically down here on the second to last row. And we wanna know how much you need in your account at the beginning. So we wanna know what is P0. So we wanna find P0. So right away, we're gonna use the first formula right here. It's already solved for P0. So we're not using the N or the D because the N formula tells us time. The D formula tells us deposit per, or I guess that would be with monthly withdrawal, but we already know that. We wanna know the initial amount. So let's write the formula P0 equals D times one minus parenthesis one plus R over K to the negative NK close parenthesis divided by R over K. Okay, so we need the D value. So 25,000 each year, that's how much we're gonna withdraw. 25,000 parentheses one minus one plus R over K. 0 0.05 divided by one to the negative 15 times one, close parenthesis, divided by R over K. All right, so we're ready to type this in the calculator. Twenty-five thousand. Uh, if you want, you can put the whole numerator in a parenthesis. Twenty-five thousand times. Oops. Be inside that parenthesis times parenthesis one minus parenthesis one plus point zero five divided by one. You do not need to do divided by one. I'm just typing in exactly as it is on my paper. Now a to the b, that's how you get uh, exponent. I need to start a parenthesis, negative 15. I don't need to do times one, but I'll do it anyways. And that's the end of my numerator there. So I think I need to close parenthesis there. Now we're going to divide it by 0 0.05 divided by one. Okay, 259491. You can write down some decimal. Okay, so this is the initial amount. It'll be in dollars as the units. So that should be that answer there. All right, so that is part A. All right, part B, how much money will you pull out total? All right, so that was the $25,000 per year for 15 years and the years cancel in the units, and we just get 25,000 times 15. $375,000. All right, so that is the answer to B. Now, how much of that is interest? This last part, it's the difference between your 
uh, amount you the initial amount compared to how much you withdrew. Uh, so the difference between these two is part C. So you just subtract them and that should be the difference between the two.